the Drunk Farm number six. They're our band of the week. Awesome. Can I have you guys say your name and say what you do in the band? My name is AJ and I play guitar and do vocals. My name is Dakota and I do guitar. Uh, my name is Spencer. I play bass and do vocals. Justin drums. Cool. Cool. What are you guys currently working on? We are working on recording a single actually uh, on Tuesday. We're going to Michigan. Awesome. Thirty-seven studios. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. And then we're gonna we're working on getting uh, we're getting T-shirts drawn up right now and scrims. We got a logo. We, we got, got a logo, T-shirt design yeah. coming out. Physical CDs. Physical, yep. And then we're just... We're just working on writing a full length now. Trying to get back in the studio. Maybe hit the road. Get a bus. Yeah. Get a tour. Get a short bus. Get a Get a brake line for my truck so we can keep playing shows. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Cool. What influences go into the production of your songs? Other bands or music or oh, religion, Jesus. politics. I would say I should have told not to ask that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, okay, if we're talking about the lyrics, I mean, the lyrics would be more expensive. Yeah, like, what inspires you necessarily? Me personally, it's just like what I've been through and how I view things. Personally, for me, I just think that the world's kind of a shitty place, and if music can help people get by, you know, that's what it's all about. I come from the story writing aspect. I grew up on a lot of country music and stuff, so like, oh. um, most of really our songs, well. if you really look at the lyrics, it tells just a story either about you know, like a historical hating yourself event. or hating someone else. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just like trying, just those natural feelings everyone has. You know, yeah, just trying to get through the day. As individuals, though, everyone's got their own like Definitely. musical interests. You know what I mean? Definitely. We um, all have different ins inspirations. But as a band, like we agree upon like a couple bands that we. Take really a lot take of it from cool. Macedon, I don't even know Devil's product. Yeah, we try to Between do the a little bit of the contortionist. Oh, absolutely. Contortionist. Yeah. I mean, obviously we're not no Gen H string, you know. <laughs> but death yeah, metal, right. but try to keep them alive. You have your own unique sounds, man. Thank cool. you so much. That, that could be possibly the best compliment ever. Yeah, that's cool. right. that could be the best. You guys don't sound like everyone else like copying the same riffs. Like, oh yeah, my band is, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Copying that band song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. I heard that break down before. <laughs> like 10 times. Yeah, for real. Cool, cool. How has the music of your parents influenced what you listen to? Oh shit. Oh Jesus. How is our what? How 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 is the music of your parents influenced what you do? Oh my gosh. Or influence well, you if you're let me let me tell you. Do your parents drop acid? I, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> my parents are insane. They used to my dad told me he used to put Marilyn Manson on the C D player and put the speakers up to my mom's belly. <laughs> and I went to a lot of Frank Zappa shows when I was younger. My first concert ever was Alice Cooper. Like, oh, I loved it. Like, I grew up on Metallica and all that. Just like that kind of old metal, you know? Like, just. I mean, old we, metal, we took a lot yeah. of, like, of that, like, old, like, stoner influence. Yeah, so, like, some, some sludge or doom. I mean, we play Maggot Brain. Yeah, Funk Yeah, usually we cover Maggot Brain. We play Maggot Brain, so that's just. Cool. We also are into, like, I personally am really fucking into, like, Black Flag and Circle Jerks and, like, Bad Religion and, like, Old Green Day, like, her plunk. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Notice he clarified Kerplunk. old on Green Day. Yeah, old. <laughs> Very old. Like but yes. we were born old. Just like we love Green Day, just kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just real punk. Cool. Yeah, like, yeah, like I like, I like you know, Annie Flag. Yeah. Oh, He's more into the jam, right? What are you more into? I'm more into like the like like the '90s, like new metal, like bands like Deftones, like uh, Cold Chamber. From, some Limp Bizkit's okay. Well, this yeah. guy, he said Cold yeah. Chamber, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for, for the longest time, like, that kind of, like, movie, like, no, riff songs always <laughs> have been, like, influencing the way I, like, the way I play, but now yeah. I get influenced from the more, I mean, like, recognizable, like, Jet bands, like, right. periphery angles. Yeah, he really so, likes those kind of bands, yeah. And I dig it, too. I love, we're, we're trying to go see Animals as Leaders coming up real soon. Yeah. Cool. cool, Like I said, country music and blues. Like, Spencer loves uh I'm the like biggest blues take. fan you will ever met. I actually have like blues and indie stuff and cool. so yeah. when I play bass I'm not playing metal because you see bass play yeah. But more diverse the better. Yeah. 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 You can't forget about your though. I, mean, I like I like the way that we take our Go out of the box man. Stop being so yeah. goddamn yeah. Typical, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Stuck on this out of the box. Else wants it. Exactly. Yeah. Play yeah, what yeah, you yeah. goddamn want. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't have to. Yeah, that you don't have to be classified. You just play whatever you play. Uh, when you start to classify yourself, you limit yourself. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Average, it's the only reason I would think we're metal is because we use screaming to get across our point. Yeah. Okay.
Well, someone asked Ginger Baker one time, who's drummer from Cream, once again, old 60s band that none of you know about. But anyways, <laughs> well, he said, someone asked him, like, what's your favorite musical genre? And he said, I hate when people put music in a fucking box. Yeah. It, it disgusts me. And it, like, it, you know, now that I'm getting older, I think it disgusts me. Like, oh, we're, you know, new. Uh, yeah, people are like, just working like, in genre because I'm just going to get so angry. Metal core. Yeah, like, when, yeah, yeah, post hardcore. They're, they're pop punk, post yeah, hardcore. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. We got like, enough of those. Yeah, we got yeah, enough, enough of those. Right. Let's make some fuck out. As a younger listener, it's easy. I mean, it's got to be bad. Categorize it. Gothic thing, jazz. Like, when you grow older and you get a more of a realization of things, it's much harder to, to like, uh, classify. Like, 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 classify it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Put it in the genre. It's all about it's just like It's just like if you're coming up with it, if you're in that moment writing with the band and it, you know, you're brainstorming and you're playing something and everyone's able to jam to it and groove to it, there you go. It doesn't have to sound fucking. Like just like I mean, you know it could be just literally anything. It could be anything. And yeah. if you could groove to it and jam to it, then it's although you gotta keep to the basics sometimes. You gotta throw in the breakdowns. You gotta stay you true know. to the roots. <laughs> yes, true to the roots, but put a little flair. Long story short, we have too many influences as individuals and as a band to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sorry for I the think that was your minute. That was your first question. That was your question. <laughs> and we answered it. We just kept on going. This <laughs> next question is gonna be even longer. Okay. That's fine. Kind of how do you guys personally enjoy music? Are you downloaders, CD shoppers, or dude? Oh, you gotta buy you gotta old support. You gotta buy support. You gotta buy the stealing your CD. parents' records. I mean, <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. tons of stealing our parents' records. Yeah. Absolutely, we've done that. But realistically, I mean, I know that sounds like a bad thing to say, but I'll download something first and then I'll go buy it unless it's like some someone that I know that I really don't need know what the fuck that was. <laughs> no, but you always got to support the locals, yeah, man, because always, every yeah. single goddamn band out there was a was local, a local at was once. a fucking local, yeah, you and if you don't give your locals a chance, no one's got a fucking chance. No one will. No yeah. one has. Yeah. Because yeah, if right. you can't draw a crowd in your city, who's to say you can't draw a crowd in anyone else? Like no one will yep. care. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I don't know, I just, yeah. I prefer to buy a physical CD. Yeah, I like, I, I like to yeah. be able to look at what I'm, I like to hold yeah. it. My, my favorite thing to do is buy, like, a, a new record, like, from a band at least. Like, yeah, 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 like, cause so I know a lot of, vinyl yeah. pressing of a current album. Pick yeah. that thing up right away. Like, yeah. it, it, cause that sound, you just don't get it anywhere yeah. else. Awesome. So, you don't get that finished record sound. Exactly. That's why I love the Black Keys, if you listen to them, they use mics from the 30s, 40s, and, 30s, oh, and cool. it sounds like, you know, it's just got that shimmer to it. Absolutely. So. Now my next question is similar. Can YouTube be considered like downloading in a way? I would think no. I would. Well, I mean, it depends. You can download off YouTube. You can do that. But I would think. I mean, there's a way to get money for the streaming and stuff. So it's not really like you're taking yeah. anything out of the artist's pocket necessarily. I think if anything, it would be great promotion. Like my uncle was in a band in the '60s. He says. Nowadays, with YouTube and all the internet and stuff, you don't even need a record company. You can do it all yourself because all they did was promote. So you yeah, could promote yourself all through everything now. You don't need any of that. That's the thing. Like a lot of bands like to rely on promotional companies, or See, Facebook likes, or whatever. Do. Don't like, blow hundreds of dollars yeah. to somebody that you don't even know what the fuck they're doing for you. you <laughs> yeah. If you pay me thirty dollars, I'll give you like ten thousand Facebook likes. Yeah, like, yeah, no, 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 that means nothing away. because yeah, you can have all the likes in the world and have no talent. Yeah, and plus, it doesn't <laughs> have to say those people are gonna come back and look at your shit. You know, yeah, those fake profiles. If you're not out there on the street, literally promoting yourself, playing, you know, then. Different cities. You really are trying. Weekends, then, you're not going to succeed. You got to be yeah. out there. It's, dude, there are going to be shows that are going to suck. You're going to play to one person. You got to play to just out the band. Yeah. You got to just grind it out. And enjoy it. Who cares if your crowd is one person? Dude, that's that's what one I more person. That's <laughs> one more. I, I love the fact of just being on the stage and being able to do whatever the fuck I want to do. That's yeah. just. That's just that. That makes it all worth doing. And then if a person is helped by my music, or even enjoys it, or makes their day a little better, about that's about fucking it's amazing. If they're pissed off and need a release, yeah, need to go to something that beat yeah, someone up. Just yeah, go beat someone you know, up. Or don't kill somebody. But instead beat of beating up. someone yeah. up, they listen to our like music. Like as the dude from Terror said, you know, you see the guy next to you, don't hit him. Just don't hit him. Shove. <laughs> yeah, give him a nice, <laughs> give him a nice <laughs> shove. <laughs> don't hit him. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah. Sometimes you gotta antagonize some people to have a little fun. Yeah. yeah. Amen. <laughs> me and me and these guys run into each other on stage all the time. Yeah, he's got to be careful though. My jaw with his Expensive headset. equipment playing around. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, I almost. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I know, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you've got plenty of them on stage, actually. Too many. Boxers, <laughs> briefs, G strings, or commando. Oh. Which are you comfortable playing in on, on stage? Oh, shit. If I could play in a G string, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, 
I gotta say boxer. Yeah, I mean, I'm honestly, boxer. as a drummer, the boxer least boxer. amount possible is the best. Man. I would say commando for being a drummer. I mean, yeah, if, it's, if it's fucking possible, I mean, I'm not trying to be that guy walking around like that, but I mean... Well, it's but, not like anyone's gonna be staring at Hey, I, I don't like, wear underwear. They are in the wrong so area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but we are Lakewood Spencer. We're Lakewood. We're Lakewood. We're Lakewood. <laughs> but I would say boxers. Boxer briefs. Yeah, fuck yeah. them tight, yeah. No, we don't need brains here. Tidy whities do count. Spe I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I think the code is wearing a thong right now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. Did boxer you cut them like a thong so they look like boxer briefs? But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is your biggest pet peeve about the music scene? That local no, or national. That local no bands don't stay and watch other local bands. Yeah, that, yeah. that. They stand in the parkway, or the parking lot, I'm sorry, and smoke weed. <laughs> yes, amen. I mean, and hey, we are literally the victims that we've done that. We can't say we haven't, but at least now, guilty. We literally <laughs> make it a point. I mean, you, you to learn watch from, every you learn, band. you learn. Yeah, you learn from yeah. your own mistake. Because people aren't gonna watch if you don't watch them. They're not gonna, they're not watch, gonna watch you, and yeah. you gotta just support literally everybody. And I just feel like it's worth it in the end. I oh. wish more people would make go to local people. shows. I That's wish all. people wouldn't show up, like say the band that they want to see is playing at 10, and they show up at 9.50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they only go to see the band, you know, then. just the group of friends going with their band. Yeah, it happens yeah. at local shows and national shows. People I mean, it's just suck. what happens. Yeah. <laughs> and then back to the old thing, it's like, once again, everyone just plays the same kind of music. It's like, when is someone going to be creative, you yeah. know what I mean? It's hard to... Next! It's, hard, it's harder <laughs> so than, like... Same word. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, like, that'll make it a little easier for us, though, I guess. Because if everyone sounds the same, we got to get noticed right. somehow. But yeah. Biggest pet peeve, though? Huh? I, yeah, I would say, really, it's just the fact that no one really comes out unless it's, like, a national act headlining and that bands don't stay for bands. Yeah. Because that's where it really starts. The bands are what literally, fun. the bands literally make the scene. That is where it all starts. Like, if bands were not fans of other bands, then those locals would not turn to be national acts. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, 100%. There would be no support for anybody. There would no so. be no such thing as a national... Like, do you, you know, think Affiance would have made it if no one given, gave a shit about them? You know what I'm saying? Like, Do you think no Science would have made it if no one ever said, you can't do that? Yeah. 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 Everyone builds everyone up. And if you're not there to support everyone, then you have no reason to be there. Yeah. Yeah. And another battle. thing, don't be afraid of criticism. Like, no, you Unless got got it's Amen. really stupid, like, you oh, you got sucked in that. Yeah, no, yeah, you <laughs> gotta <laughs> learn. You gotta, you gotta take get criticism better. and use it to your If you did something wrong, learn from Amen. it. That's all you can because do is go for it. Realistically, I mean, I know it sounds weird, but you gotta play what people do like. You gotta like your music, but you gotta play what you like. But yeah, if someone comes well, up yeah, says, the, the sad thing is, in the end of the day, when you think about music and like if you're trying to be a successful band, it's all about what It's about marketing, you know what I mean? It's about selling your material, and it's like. If you could get past that and just play what you like, you know what I'm saying? If you could shit exactly. that music is only about money anymore. Yeah. It, back in the day, it, used to, it didn't used to be, but we weren't around for that. No. Right. We missed the good times. We really did. We good old days. We would have been doing this in about 1965. We probably oh, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't want to be here. I would not oh, want to be yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Cool. But yeah. I give you a thing. If you guys can open, well, who would you guys love to open for and know not your legs? Uh, <laughs> really? Always that ass? Who the hell would know not who? Not our legs. Who would we want to open for but no, not our legs? Um, who would I? Well, each one of us are just in a group. Oh well, personally, my I would kill. Oh my I would kill to open up for fucking. I know we, we don't even sound like this band, but this band is one of my favorite bands. I would kill to be a direct opener support to the Chiodos. Chiodos? Literally kill. Cool. I'm, I mean, I. I it might be a little. Uh, eh. I'm a diehard goddamn Avenged Sevenfold fan, man. As, as, as yeah. their new shit is shit, man. It really is. <laughs> but but I gotta say, it's like if you're they opening were, up for Avenged Sevenfold, dude, you fucking you made, you're made. there. You're there. You know what I mean? I mean, they, cause they when you think about it, it started out as a band like us. They <laughs> started were, out, yeah. They were metalcore, they dude. Were they met played Warped Tour. They were a Warped Tour band, yep. and they they freaking she made, made it, dude. Moves. And they you know. So although they might not still have stuck to their roots, they they're could still, still sold out, you know, not necessarily, but... No, they didn't sell out. They, they just kind of, they knows. went with the money, which is kind of smart. Yeah. I guess they in a way, yeah. it, it, it all comes down to what would you rather, pride or money, you know? Yeah. Really. But then at the end of the day, you gotta live. Well, what puts food in your mouth? Exactly, you gotta live. It's true. I know, right? Well, it's, I don't want to know what's food in your mouth, but... <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's our opinion on that, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do before you play a show? Bullshit. We meet at our practice base. 
we run definitely, through. we've definitely run through our shit before we practice, or well, before we perform. We try to do a rehearsal, not necessarily full go, but like, you know, move around, get a little, like, I mean, it's definitely a good idea, you know, if, yeah, I mean, whether you're 100% confident in yourself or not, I mean, you should really run through. You know, I don't know who you think you are, you're not Jesus. Yeah. Practice, you know what I mean? Exactly, you're not Jesus. Um... So yeah, definitely practice. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Right. Practice, practice, practice. You know we like mean? to. We usually like to get together with all our friends, sit down, and like maybe smoke a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we have a big group of friends. We have a big group of friends, and you know, anything to really relax, we and get our mindset in. You, and then when we get to the Fun venue, support. yeah, absolutely. And then when we get to the venue, well, I personally will uh, take like five to myself, and I'll maybe walk around the block and really get into the mental, cause like. The person I am on stage and the person who I really am is are two very different people, and I yes. have to get into that yes. mentality. Yes. So I usually will do that. Everyone as individuals, I think, kind of prepares their own way. You know what I mean? Yeah. But in the end, we bond over certain things. You know what I mean? Yeah. That we just keep like within each other. Yeah, literally. Like we'll, just, we'll just stay private. You know what I mean? Just yeah. the four of us go. We'll do what we want to do before our show. Whatever calms us down, like gets us into that. And even if that is feel. arguing with each other. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck I mean, if you see each other, whatever helps us feel better. Each other Sometimes when we're pissed off at each other before a show, like we'll start screaming, yelling, being dicks to each other, and that's the best show we've ever played. Absolutely, because we got that energy, yeah. we got that anger already, and then by the time we get on stage, it's like, holy shit, you know, this is now. We need to do it now. So if you're angry, get it out there, right. and don't bring it home with you. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. What's important about it is that we're able to, like. Like converse with each other, and we're, we're able to get into arguments, and we're able to get angry at each other. But when it comes down to perform, yeah, but it's all good. Use, we're able to use that energy <laughs> on the yeah. stage. On the stage. Yeah. Absolutely, we're like an old, weird, polygamous married couple. <laughs> I mean, th literally, this exact four group people here. We Jesus Christ, it's been for five years, years more yeah. five years. I mean, almost. I don't. Now. We don't take. I. I don't. I, this is. You know. We take it 100% seriously now. I mean, we did it. But we when didn't. I was 13 years old, we were doing it for fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean, yeah. Since then, like shit's changed. We've yeah. grown. Like, Our music when we has hit, changed. When we hit senior year in high school, we really started realizing what was like that maybe that we were good enough to like not just. Do we're gonna it for be on fun. the streets either way, but. We're deciding if we're going to be on the streets playing our music or just literally just on the, on streets. the streets. Yeah, because either way, we're, we're going to gonna be doing nothing. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're trying to figure out. We're just trying to see if we're living in a van. Yep, exactly. Living on the van or oh, just sleeping on the side? That's the best way to go. Yeah, okay, you travel. <laughs> that's all. Traveling is the shit. That's that's what I, if I, dude, I will be content with my life if I can tour. Just these ex experiences, you know that's what I mean? Awesome. The experiments. Yeah, until it kills you. Yep. <laughs> Dude, if I could tour enough to support my daughter and my girlfriend, and you not even have to be there. Yeah. Exactly. Money. yeah, he's having a kid, so we gotta really make oh, this one down. Yeah, congrats on Spencer. How have your family supported your band? Holy shit. Um, um, they're actually pretty heavy support. I mean, I gotta say, we wouldn't I wouldn't have gotten anything off the ground in the first place without yeah. them. Thousands and thousands. Who was the person that bought me my first drum set? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Yeah, like my parents dropped like God five thousand on my whole set, and then they paid for our studio time. Yeah, I mean, they Dakota's dad was really supportive for the longest time. Yeah, I mean, like every everybody's really into it. Everybody individually had like, and it's not even. I don't even think they doubt because you know some parents are like, oh well, maybe you shouldn't. You know, they have their little doubts. But like, I I've skipped. Literally like finals to go play shows. And my basically were, dropped like, out of fucking doing. school. I basically dropped yeah. out of school. Yeah. You I mean, gotta do what you are. Okay. Realistic. I, in the well, end, I was like, the only one that actually graduated from a legitimate high school. Yeah. yeah. Like. So. Oh, I'm not playing on sitting in the fucking desk with no nope. older. No. So, uh, I'm not getting. If it's not desk. music, it's nothing. Yeah. Can I help you, I, sir? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, right. No, I can't. No, I have a job like that. I knew I graduated. Where can the fans find your music? Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Band Twitter, Band Go on Band iTunes, please go to iTunes. iTunes. Support please us go to iTunes. IP. Yes. Self-titled EP. Uh, it's just a drift on River Sticks. If you find S a song you like, download the song. Yeah. Just awesome. even one song. Shout yeah. out to yeah. Rob Morrow, too, for yeah. doing our logo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. our album cover. Yeah. Awesome. Very fantastic artist. T-shirt design. Recommend everyone. So as soon as we get those designs back in, we'll have physical copies of our T-shirts. T-shirts, stickers, you name it, we'll have we'll it. We'll have merch, yeah. Yep. We'll have, we'll have plenty. And a new uh, a Drift on River Sticks mobile. <laughs> yeah, a new Drift on River Sticks mobile. Yeah. Probably going to be a short bus, but... Yeah, we're, we're really looking into a nice short bus with like a handicap lift or something. That'll be sick. Oh, yeah, that'd be really cool. cool. So, maybe that's okay.
Yeah. But yeah, lots of stuff to look out for because we're recording a new single in Michigan on Tuesday. YouTube uh, too. We have a single already on YouTube. Yeah, Modesto. Uh, we have a music video on YouTube. Yeah, we have a music video, video for the video. Cool. Cool. Like I said, we had that EP out now with like four or five songs on it. Cover yes. Mega Brain to check I mean, out. You know, search our name in Google. We're the only band that. Yeah, comes just type out, in Drift so. on River Sticks. A D R I F T on River S T Y X. Don't spell it wrong. Yep. <laughs> don't put a space between the A and Drift. Yeah, yeah. That makes no sense. Don't put the. In our name, that makes no sense. Honestly, we have not gotten our name spelled right until recently. We've been playing <laughs> yeah. as a big They've band been really, really for two for years. To it took a tickets. while. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember, like, what was the one really bad freaking spelling mistake that we had on one of our bar shows? It was drift on the river sticks. Yeah, it was like <laughs> drift down thinking. the river sticks. It wasn't yeah, even like the dude fucking listening. Yeah, he was a dick. <laughs> he didn't even listen. Oh well. He's like, oh, River Sticks, alright, I'll just make it up. That's cool. Yeah, yeah well, I got the last two words. I should be able to This battery is again. so dead. It's, it's but is it still on? on? Yes, it is still recording right now, but at this well, point. Well, maybe it's it just gonna fucking shut off on us. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> just let you know before it does, because it's gonna. Well, right. well, thanks for having us. Hey, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much. Do you guys have any questions for support Clover Metal scene? Uh, yes. Shit. How how often do you guys come out? Where, where do you guys where do you guys go to shows? Do you guys support like do you guys like uh, put together shows? We book shows. We do interviews, and we come hang out with all you. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. What would you guys do if you woke up naked next to Betty White and she looked at you and said, ready for round two? <laughs> I'd say you bet your ass at you. <laughs> you, like, you bet your 95-year-old yeah. ass at yeah. you. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> I'd go pick her vagina up off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine it'd be like, floor like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like we've got to find it. Where is it at? Come on, buddy. <laughs> can't find the silver lining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> found a lot of gray hairs, though. <laughs> I think that'd be an interesting story. Yeah, that would, I would want to know how the fuck I wound up there. It's like you a know? hangover incident. You know? Well, you don't drink, so I'd be really interested. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'd be interested in figuring that one out. Great. How would you guys feel if your idolized band did a cover of one of your songs? I would, I would say, why the hell did you do that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are that low on material? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. But I mean, in all reality, though, if that were to happen, yeah, I mean, I would great. want I would be so that happy. happy. Like, because the whole thing with, like, Trent Reznor and Johnny Cash, like, Johnny Cash doing a Nine Inch Nails song, it's amazing. Like, God, if that could happen. Yeah, that is sweet. That's just happy. Right. Cool. Yeah, I mean, really, like that's a legend. Yes. You no, know, if Willie Nelson wanted to do a cover of Modesto, I'd be like, Yep, go right ahead. Oh, yeah. Willie Nelson. Yeah. Willie Nelson. We wouldn't even want, you know, the credit. We would just want. Yeah, we just not as Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or just hang out. I would like, like you guys. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys played in a in a horror film, would you be a survivor, the killer? Or the crazy dumb college girls that die in the first five minutes. Oh well, shit. I think Spencer's the dumb college. Yeah, Spencer's girl. the dumb college girl. <laughs> I definitely would be the killer. Yeah. yeah. Deco- the me and Dakota are just gonna be Survivor. running around trying to fucking fend for ourselves. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I'd be the killer. In the end, though, I, th- I think I'm gonna wind up dead. <laughs> I'll wind with, up dead. Can I just do the director? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Be, cool. They all have trees. <laughs> but I would. Uh, <laughs> well, we watch a mean? lot of horror films. It should be an easy one for us. <laughs> what were you saying? What would be your ultimate breakfast? Breakfast? Ultimate breakfast. Gosh, let me think about this. Coffee, coffee, more coffee. He loves coffee. Yeah, coffee. <laughs> um, coffee, coffee. Literally, coffee. just honestly, what you just could expect a breakfast to be, man. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong not with the bacon and eggs. Like yeah. three eggs, coke, three sausage yeah. links. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. I'm more of like, I would prefer to eat breakfast at 3 in the morning, you know what I mean? Like, I like to go out in the middle of the fucking night and just get breakfast. I personally would say some cities. Go to yeah, IHOP. Right there, man. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's cool. Yeah. After party at IHOP. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> um, do you guys have any other questions or comments for us? Uh, no. Or look us up and no, <laughs> you guys have been, like, been checking you out, seeing you guys on like like twenty different flyers. I'm Thank like, you so much. Yeah, hey, check you guys out. Like yeah. their name popped up here, here, here. Yeah, pretty cool. Cool, cool thing. Yeah. You guys deserve it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, I just appreciate the support. Yeah, for sure. The only and thing anybody I can wants to come and look up our music and support. Yeah. Find us on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, fucking Reverb Nation, SoundCloud, iTunes. iTunes. 
Yeah. We're getting shirts. Sure. We're getting CDs. You live in Middleburg. Come knock on our door. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get to you. Come Hello. Party. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a drift on rubber sticks? Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> we'll put a sign in. Well, the if it's door. the cops, it's a no. But yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. no. Unless they like metal and they're fans, then yeah. Well, like the cops that shut down the grad party that we played. Yeah. <laughs> they gave oh, him no. a high five. They're like, you guys could have honestly just kept going. Yeah. And, like, why'd you we, like, we, like, look over there. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're just like, uh, Oh, yeah. shit, we got the fuzz over here now. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Bye. I'm smoke. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No. Um, last question. How would you guys respond to a crazy stalker or a groupie? Like, someone that, like, actually... What did they want? What were they yeah, demanding what they from want? us? Your skin. My, My skin. Because you guys played so well, they want to kill you. <laughs> I got I you a little would, I would, I would have, uh, God, I How big of a piece of skin are we talking about? Are we going good. like full Buffalo Bill kind yeah, of makeup? Yeah, Buffalo up, Bill like, kind of stuff? Like, <laughs> she's going to turn you into a trench like, coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. A yeah. trench coat? Think a trench, a trench coat on. if you don't give her a free shirt. I don't have enough yeah, skin right, right. to make a trench coat, so you're going to have a hard time. Stalkers Maybe if I'm in a well. Yeah, right, right, right. Stalkers beware. I mean, if you want a very yeah. pale, pasty, yeah. white pale trench coat, then <laughs> go for the dispenser. You know? <laughs> You'll get one arm that's tan. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and not right from the window. Yeah, from the window. From the window. But no, I would probably just tell her she's a crazy bitch. Yes. <laughs> probably as simple as it gets. I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, I would just give her what she wanted. Her well, if she wanted my skin, but you know what? I'm told I would. I think that'd be cool, though. You know, oh my God, this is why AJ'd be the killer. <laughs> yeah, to have like a to have like a fan that die hard. I mean, it'd be great. Yeah, I, w- I mean, I would honestly do almost anything, give whatever if yeah. I could. You know what I mean? I I would try and <laughs> yeah, like be somebody, as cool as possible. Absolutely. Somebody. Like if I was getting, if we were like, but if, if they're coming on to me, it's, it's like you know, like I was thinking, I'd be like, yeah. Just say he has a shirt. But can I can I get a little sliver of your skin? No. 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 <laughs> Maybe later. Can I have a piece of your hair? Yeah. yeah. Can I have no. a lock of your hair? No. I'll just be like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'll mail it to you. What's your head? Yeah. <laughs> Send the I'm gonna get it soon because it's not gonna last long. Yeah, yeah I know. It's cool. uh-huh. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. We are thank support you. through the metal scene hanging out with a drift on River Sticks. Thank you guys. Right. Thank, thank you. you. So much. Thank awesome. you. Support your local scene. Go to a shop. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>